Hey there everybody, um, I am going to give you now a short video on how to finish unlocking the secret commendation in the Westside Piers area. Now if you're not sure what commendation I'm talking about, if you go to your commendations mission and then scroll to the bottom, there's a commendation there with a load of gobbledygook, a load of garbage letters it appears and a little bit of Morse code um, and the reward is cipher key and also uh, a badge called or a patch called silver now you look at that one and it seems extremely confusing um, but I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to unlock that commendation now firstly what you're going to need to do is unlock all 38 phone recordings or find all 38 phone recordings in the West Side Piers area now in the stream description there will be a link to a video that I did the day before yesterday um, which shows you where to find every single one of those, shows you a quick and easy route to go around and find all 38 phone recordings. So uh, feel free to make use of that and if you do please don't forget you can stick a like and uh, maybe drop a comment on it if you, if you found it easy to use let me know what you thought. Okay, now before I start getting on to the main part of this, I want to give you some very important points about doing this, right? You're going to need four players. Um, there will be one of you has to stand on the spots you need to activate. There are some crosses on the floor around the map, like X marks the spot, like there's a pirate treasure there. And you're going to need three people to stand, one each on one of these spots and you have to activate them in order and then you're going to need one extra person to wait by the secret door that you're going to unlock once you've achieved all the bits you need to achieve in this. Um, there's there's another thing that I'm not sure about. Um, it In one post I read about this it said uh, you have to be level 20 or you have to have reached level 20 in all the different resistance modes so in the carrier, pier 93 and the powerhouse now I don't know whether this is true or not because I've already done this so I can't actually test it myself as to whether you have to have reached level 20 um, in all the resistance modes or not. Perhaps uh, one of you who tries this that hasn't reached level 20 in all of these modes could leave a comment underneath the video let me know if you did it without having reached level 20 or if you tried it and it didn't let you unlock the secret room because you haven't reached level 20 perhaps. Now the most important point I've got to tell you here though is that only one player can activate the computer in the secret room. Now when I first did this with the group you'll see a little video at the end of this it's a bit of a spoiler as to what you get so if you want to watch it or not that's up to you. But when I first did this um, we unlocked the secret door we had a fourth player waiting by the secret room and he went down and waited in the room and we all went and joined him and i was the person that activated the computer first okay and i got all the rewards you get three rewards from this um you get an exotic cash uh, a west side peers cash and a west side peers weapon cash okay with some exclusive weapons that you can only get from this um now what happened after I'd activated it though, everyone else in the group found that they could also activate the computer so they did it but all they got from it was an exotic cache and then when we tried to redo it they discovered that they actually couldn't unlock the West Side Pier weapons cache as well um, it contains five, five weapons, exclusive weapons now uh, a friend of mine who was in the group, we tried it by him leaving group and him changing onto a different character and he was able to do it using his different character. Um, but if you haven't got a spare character to do it on, you will lose out on getting the West Side Pier weapons cache and the exclusive weapons. So be warned, don't do it that way. Um, what I would suggest you do is run through it. The first person who's going to open the uh, activate the computer and get the cache or the caches, caches, however you pronounce it, should wait by the secret door. The other players uh, activate the spots, and then that player who's waiting by the door can go down and activate the computer. I would then go back to Camp Clinton, everybody leave group, and a different person reform the group 
and then repeat the whole process again but this time with a different player waiting by the door to go down and activate the computer and do that for all the players in your group and that way you will all be able to get the uh, the exclusive weapons okay so I'm now going to move on to uh, the different locations what I'm going to do is show you a map location for each each X that you have to activate in the order that they have to be activated and a picture of it exactly to show you where it is with the coordinates so the first one that needs to be activated is on the pier not not far north of Camp Clinton you come out of Camp, Camp Clinton and it's the first pier on your left hand side coordinates 3961975 so if you've got three players who are going to stand on these spots your first player will need to go here and wait on the X now the X is just here you can see it in this picture there's a hot dog cart not far into the pier there's a hot dog cart and just in front of it there's an X on the floor coordinates 3961975 the second player will need to go to the nightclub, okay, which is uh, 49th Street. If you go along 49th Street and head up almost all the way to 10th Avenue, there's a door on your left hand side. As you go in through the door, turn to your right and on the ground floor in the first booth you come along, uh, come to, just uh, opposite the end of the bar, there's an X just there. You can see it here in this picture, and that's at coordinates 7842242. That's 7842242. The third player will need to go to his first activation spot, which is up between. Well, if you go all the way up along the waterfront, up to you reach uh, 12th Avenue and 56th Street Junction, turn into 56th Street. And you're into the area where all the cleaners spawn if you go in through the first door on the right you'll come to a gas pump there's a few gas pumps in there but the first gas pump or petrol pump you come to has the x on it and that's at coordinates 6402515 okay so each of you each of the three players that are going to activate the spots need to stand on those spots and then once you've done that, once you're all there waiting, clear out any AIs that are giving you grief. As soon as you're all ready, the player on the pier needs to hold down the button to activate his point. The If he does it right, there will just be, uh, he will activate with his watch and there will be a small noise. Then the player in the nightclub needs to activate his spot and he will do the same thing and then the player here at the gas pump will need to activate his and if you've done it correctly all three of you there will be a notification from Isaac saying that the power has been activated okay if you did it wrong or took too long doing it you will hear a kind of a deep toned notification a kind of like a, a buzz going off and that will let you know that you've done something wrong and just repeat the steps if that happens just repeat the steps and it should work okay from there you need to move on to the second lot of locations now um, the first player who was at the pier will need to run to the car wash now, the car wash is just south of the park um, between 49th and 52nd Street, the car wash entrance, you, as you run from the park, you will come into the car wash entrance at uh, 49th Street, just near the junction of 12th Avenue and 49th Street. Run all the way up the stairs to the roof. Okay, as you come out to the roof, um, as you exit the doors from the car wash onto the roof, go down the short flight of stairs and across to your right hand side will be this spot here. And you'll see this uh, air vent on the roof. And just behind it there you can see the X coordinates 6632247. The second player, the player who was in the nightclub, as soon as he's activated his spot in the nightclub, or as soon as all three of you have activated your spots, will need to run to the Serra roof. Now the Serra roof is right in the right hand side of the West Side Piers area, in between uh, it runs in between 53rd west 53rd street and west 55th street okay, as you uh, go in through the doors you'll come along 53rd street turn left in through the doors of the building 
go left up the stairs up the escalators onto the roof right but as you go up to the top of the escalators turn to your right it's on the right hand side it's on the 53rd street side of the roof and there's a picture there of where the X is on the floor you can see it just behind my character there um, just by where the rope is to go down and that's at coordinates 9802400 and the third player will come from the gas pump in the cleaners area and he's going to head south back down to the little part that's just opposite the carrier okay now you can see where that is on the left hand side here you can see uh, on 12th Avenue you've got the little yellow icon for resistance and directly opposite that you've got a little park with some uh, ramps leading up to a bridge across to the carrier a bridge that you can't get up onto now, this is coordinate 610 2120 610 and this picture there you can see at the bottom of one of the ramps there just by a pile of barrels there's your X marks the spot okay now again you're going to do the same thing as you did before the first <coughs> excuse me the first player is going to go to the car wash roof second player is going to go up to the Sarah roof and the third player is going to go to the park and you're going to activate the spots in that order so the person on the car wash roof will go first the second person on the Sarah roof will then activate uh, their X marks the spot and the third person on the park will then activate their X marks the spot and that should open the door the secret door now um, for the fourth player so the fourth player knows exactly where to go going to show you a map of where that is show you on the map where that is um, in between West 56th Street and West 57th Street there is an alleyway which I always access by coming down 56th Street turning up 10th Avenue and then you just turn immediately left as you come up 10th Avenue from 56th Street you turn immediately left into an alleyway and you're going to find the door down there here's a picture of the door so you know exactly what it looks like you can see just above the door underneath that little canopy there's a light on the wall if you do the first stage correctly that light will light up and you will then be able to see lights inside the doors if you look down through the windows of the doors you'll see lights downstairs on well this leads down into a downstairs area um, and once the second part has been activated that door will open you only have a limited time frame to get inside that door although once the player who's waiting by the door has gone in there the door will not close so the rest of the team can go and join him if they want to go and have a look at what's going on and see what's down there but like I say only one person should activate the computer once that person's activated the computer you need to reform the group with a different uh, player in in charge of the group or forming the group what we did to be safe we um, we completely logged out and logged back in to make sure we were up on our own instances again and uh, had a different player reform the group and we redid it that way uh, another player was able to collect all of the caches that are available and like I say, you'll get through. You get an exotic cache, you get a Westside Piers cache, but you get a Westside Piers West weapon cache, which is the one that um, you won't be able to get if if you follow the first player in who activates the computer and activate the computer yourself. All you will get is an exotic cache, and you'll have kind of wasted your time unless you've got another character that you can do this on. Now, one thing other that I'm not sure of is if you do this on more than one character I haven't tested this yet but if you do do it on more than one character yourself will you get more than one instance of the West Side Weapons cache I might try that later just to see how it goes but perhaps if uh, one of you guys tries it you could leave a message in the comments let me know okay now just to let you know next up I'm going to put a little spoiler up there's a little video going up of exactly what happened once the door was opened and I got down there and opened the cache so uh, if you don't want to see that if you want to just see it for yourself try it for yourself maybe you should end here um, and if that's the case thank you for watching I hope if you enjoy my content you could please like share and subscribe um, otherwise it's coming up right now is the video showing you exactly what happens once you open the cache
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it's really good. But it, it's really good as a solo build, though. To be fair. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm saying, because it's really good for the underground as well, because you never know what you're going to face down there. That's all right, Wolf. That's all right. Oh, Wolf, I've misspelt your name in the uh, video I put up saying thank you to everybody for their support and donations. I didn't put the H in Wolf Us. Sorry. <laughs> I'm about to be at my location. If the um, if the mobile yeah. cover glitch was still in, we could actually get in here. And it would still be. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. It was like 1.2. You put the mobile cover like as close as you can to the door, and it like glitches inside the door, and you just walk on the mobile cover into it. I feel really bad for the people remember. that wanted to help out, but now they really can't because there's a fourth person in here now. I kind of feel bad because I feel like they want to get the rewards as well. But it's not about the rewards; just helping out people. It's my whole motto about this. In a long time. Part of why I do what I do and put the videos up that I do, I want to be able to help people suss it out, you know? I am. Yeah. Okay. I wish See, I wish they would have like a little hang on, hang on, shush, shush. they have to make it secret. Push. I hear it, I hear it. Done. Okay, two. Press the mine. Coordinates. It's open, it's open, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's in, it's in. I'm gonna try to teleport him. you now. Teleport on me now, it's open. Alright, I'll TP into it. Open it, it's okay. But I can't fast travel, I'm in combat. Ah, oh, shit. Right, you just teleport right. on me, I'll try before it closes. I'm gonna check down here now. No, it won't close. If someone's in there, there, I doubt it will close. Because then they won't, you can't get you, Once out. you open it, it won't close back on it. You, It won't close back on, but. Alright, yeah, I'm in. Don't even open it, it's a 30 second timer. Alright, let's go, boys. Hey, don't screen. press the computer, don't press the computer, don't press the computer. Alright, alright. Wait yeah, till someone loses it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, one person has Can't to press press the computer presses it. each time. And then you have to then you have to go back to the X marks, the second X marks, right? Then you yeah, have to come back here and New each subscriber. Will the cash. And it's basically um remember the season pass how we got those weapons? Those uh survivor AKs and all that? They're basically upgraded marked versions, two of those. You're gonna it, and also the rewards you'll get the um, obviously the accommodation. You're gonna get the um you're also gonna get a uh, classified cash and exotic cash. It's it's everything, it's a lot, dude. So you guys did it, bro. I'm like happy. All we need is one more person in here. Yesterday it was a long nine hour grind. Uh, he wants to press it first. Oh yeah, bro. He was up in like detected. two in the morning doing that. Yeah, you know what? Well, he... right, pressing it first. Please, I Can see I you do it? do. Just because you know what, let Frog do it, he's in the stream right now. Sure, yeah, I'm, gonna right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, yeah. do it. The rewards, uh, I'm gonna do it then, see what happens. Database, access, get a cash. establishing a link. Did you get a cash? You got the commendation, right? This is a distress call. Omega oh, yeah. priority. All eight, please respond. Repeat. Should press this it again. Distress call. Did you get anything from it? No. Please respond. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This is we a distress call. call. All eight, yeah, wait, wait. please respond. It's the Omega one, right? It's the Wait, I think once this hat finishes, you get yourself. I've got a combat assignment cache and a field proficiency cache. That's all I've got. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's a I've been trying to get a location, but no luck. Ah, here we go. Been on loop since we first picked it up. If anything changes, I'll, I'll let you know. So this provides more insight. I got into accommodation. The, um... and I got, got it, bro. Let's go. Hold on, hold on. Let's check these caches. Ah, uh, accommodation. <laughs> you got it, guys. Hold on. Uh, I, exotic, I only got an exotic cache. I got one. I only got an exotic house. Fucking golden rhino. So. Language. I got a ninja bike out there. We got it! We got it, boys! I think PC is different. Somebody did. Somebody jailbreak the PTS during 1.8. And basically, Strikers that's how mask. they did it. Oh, I didn't get, I I didn't get this exotic cash. A cash with five weapons. Well, alright, we'll run it again, and this time I'll. A Barrett. Well, Woohoo! I really need that one. Well, <laughs> this, we'll run it again. I got like five weapons out of the weapons cache. We'll run it again, and uh, this time oh. somebody else can press the computer first, right? You okay, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed the content and uh, please like I say if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like share and subscribe I'll be back on with some more live streams as per usual you know I'm always live streaming um, it's a constant thing for me and I will look forward to seeing you guys all there hope this was of some use to you see you later on